So today we got our 2023 uh, Thor Tranquility 19L. Um, we're on the driver's side, so to start, we have our 30 amp uh, plug-in shore cord. So to do that, you know, open it up. We have an adapter already on the other side of the shore cord, so any 110 outlet would be fine to plug into. Once you get it on, kind of quarter turn into place, and then we're gonna screw in this cap. It'll be good if it didn't cross thread. There we go. And then the indicator light will be on when we know that we are hooked up to power and it is charging. Over here we have our cable, um, antenna, uh, and our, what is that, internet? Solar. Solar connection. So if we have any external uh, solar pieces, we could plug into that. Uh, right here we have our exhaust for our furnace on the inside of the rig. And then we have our cassette toilet. So at all times we want to leave this locked. So then we'll take this key and we'll unlock it. And this is both buttons to press to access our cassette toilet. And with this, we want to pull up on this lever and pull straight out. And then the color piece is how we will drain our cassette toilet. Um, this just swivels out dump it in any type of porta potty or toilet and then just flush it down, make sure the cap's back. And then when putting it back, we wanna make sure that clicks into place and we don't wanna force it because that could snap uh, the lever on the inside of the toilet. So when we close that, we wanna make sure we lock it back into place. All right, come in over here. We have our sewer hose. So this could be used for the gray water drain. So this is just a quarter turn onto underneath the vehicle, which I'll show you right now. So down here we have our uh, gray water drain. So with that, just the cap turns off and then you find wherever you're dumping your gray water and we hook up that hose and then put it into the ground. And then to do that, all we do is pull out on that handle and that will open up the valve. We do have a couple more drains down here. We have our low point drain, which is kind of hard to see. But underneath here, we also have our low points for our hot and cold water valves. And you can see that on the outside right here. So for now, we'll have those closed. Okay, so over here, we have uh, two different options for our water fill. Uh, the city fill is gonna be used in the case of which that you're at a campsite and we're gonna bypass the water pump. So here, uh, we're gonna hook up here and we do have a pressure reducer regulator as well as a filter, which you're gonna wanna use for this fill. And that's if um, we're just hooked up at a connect at some type of campground. And then up here, we have the gravity fill. So with this key on the keychain, we go in here. All this is, is you open it up take the cap out cap, cap off and then any type of garden hose um you just throw in here fill it up uh and then it'll just overflow out the top once it's full so on this side if we want to use any of the internal water heaters or the tank heaters or our uh, furnace on the inside our propane is going to be need turned on there's also a propane port on the other side if we want to hook up any external barbecues uh, that indicator light will turn on that that way you'll know that the propane is on and running if we want to fill it up all we have to do is connect right here and just to be sure we want to make sure whenever we're driving that this switch is turned off and have the propane turned off completely so we'll come around this we've got a couple features back here most of the storage options are underneath the bed. We also have a separate hose connection that if you go mountain biking or anything at the beach and you need a hose off, we've got a connect right here that the hose will plug into. And then all you have to do is engage the water pump here and then you have some controls for the exterior lights. And then we have a power cord, hose, anything we need back here. We'll close this up. And then have our Thule bike rack, which is super cool, easy to use. So there's a lock right here. And when you spin this, it just opens this clamp. So we'll loosen it, 
making these come up, which then allow us to drop it down. These are also adjustable racks. You just have to loosen these nuts at the bottom and then you disengage and you can move these along the tracks as well to snug up against the tires. So you can move all of that. And then the way these go is you're gonna want the bikes to face opposite directions and then just drop these down on the crossbars and then you're gonna just tighten these up all the way. And then when they're in the spot you need them where they're secure, then you throw the lock key in the lock and that is gonna be the smaller key that we have right here. And once you engage the lock, they'll be free spinning and it won't loosen or tighten the bike locks. If I could get this in there. So that's in the unlocks, then in the lock position, and then they will free spin. This is where we'll be hooking up any of our propane grills or anything um, that we want to run off the back right here. And again, we have two more 110 outlets. Coming on the inside, we've got some little storage space, some storage for shoes. We've got a little bit over here. We have a drop down table with the speaker. Again, we have more uh, power outlets and USB ports. You come up here. This is how we control our power. So if, if the battery is off, that's going to cut off all power to the house. So we're going to turn that on. The place that we can check to see our power levels is on this screen right here. So it takes a second for it to boot up. All right, so right here is our terminal to see how many amps we're pulling. Also the total level of the house battery and the voltage. If you come up here, we have our main control panel. So as you see here, we can check our tank levels, turn on all of our lights, turn off all of our lights, engage the water pump, and also control our AC. Moving down, we can check all of our tanks. So this is our fresh water and our gray water. Currently we have all the tanks empty, which it's reading here. To turn on tank heaters, simply press that button and that will keep all of the uh, pipes warm. And then once there's water in the tanks, we could turn on the water pump. So we're gonna turn those off for now. For the awning, all you have to do is hit extend and hold and you'll hear it engage. So we wanna not use this in any type of uh, high wind weather uh, because it will rip. So it's going to seem like it's going to overextend for a sec and then it should pull itself back and tighten up just like that. And then for the legs, these are spring powered. So we have to press in and then they can pop down. You can then extend them to wherever they're level and then you can secure them to the ground like that. And the same goes for putting them away. You just got to know to press in or else you won't be able to get it back into place. So we just press them down and then they'll extend and fit back in there nicely. And the same goes for the other side. So just press down and engage. And then for putting it back, same thing. We are simply just gonna hold the retract button. Once it engages, it'll take care of itself. So we can then dim lights. There's a whole nother command center where you can see more controls here where we have dimmers for all of our lights. We then have our battery levels and our propane fill levels. So we currently have full propane. And then this is our input output of all of our solar controls and solar temperature. We then have one fan in the kitchen and one fan in the bathroom. The bathroom we're gonna manually push up, which I can show you later. For the kitchen, it will do it itself. So to raise, you simply hold this button and then you could turn the kitchen fan on and get some airflow. And you can hold and open more and close depending on what you like. So we'll close that and lower it. So 
So like I was saying for climate control, we can control the AC from this command center, but for the heater, we're gonna have to go up to this Truma. And to do this, it's pretty simple. So whatever's flashing is what we're selecting. So if we wanna heat the inside of the house, we're gonna select the van. Currently it's turned off. So the only way for this to engage a certain temperature is for the thermostat to read something lower. So right now, if we look bottom of this command center, we see that it's 70 degrees. So we're gonna set it a little bit higher than that. Select. And once we do that, it should engage. And the way to tell when it's engaged is that that flame will start blinking. So we'll give it a sec. All right, so that sign indicates that the heater is now running. The same goes for this thermostat, which is for our water temperature. So we can set it to eco, hot, or boost. And then the higher you set it, the more propane it's gonna use because it'll, it'll go to higher temperatures and work a little bit faster. And then the same goes for the fan. We can set the fan to high, and that's for the heater on the inside of the house. So going from there, Okay, so moving on, we have a bunch of storage up top that then goes... A bunch of storage up top and that goes up and around the beds. We have a little bit more here, some utensils. We've got pots, pans, dishes, silverware. And you want to be sure you're, when you're driving down the road, so these actually click into place. So you want to be a little firm with it and you can feel it click into place so that way drawers aren't flying open while you're driving down the road you got the sink for the fridge you want to make sure you pull it firmly to open right here it's a nice little pull out that can be storage but also is a step to get up into the bed because it could be a little high for some people so that just tucks nicely underneath the fridge and then we have the bathroom so in the bathroom we have our wet bath, so there is in fact a shower with the controls right here. Uh, after using the toilet, there is the drop down. We have some soap, and then we have a faucet that we can run right here. We can run the fan and the light off of those two switches. And like I was saying earlier, this is a manual push, so we do need to push that up in order to open up the section for the fan for the bathroom. And then just make sure we pull it down and make sure that's secure. So when we put that up, um, it is a swivel toilet. So for storage purposes, if you want to put it to the side, you can. And then put that wherever it's comfortable. Open it up, close. And then to flush is right here. So that would flush it, which opens that. And then close it up. And then this right here will be red when that cassette toilet is then full. Um, a little bit more storage up here. Uh, yeah good all right so finding the spot to fill up your fuel on this can be a little tricky you'll have to open up that driver's door and then this is our diesel um, there's some instructions right there any diesel number two uh, will be totally fine to use in this uh, we just want to stay away from the biodiesel um, only a max of five percent for biodiesel is allowed All right, to start the vehicle, we have the key fob. So all we do is depress the brake and hit the start button. All right, cycles through, now it starts up. Uh, to control the seat adjustments, simply use the automatic adjustments there. All right, and then if we want to engage four wheel drive, we simply press this button so even in park, we could press it, it'll blink. And then up here, the indicator right there lights up and shuts off. That means that it has either disengaged or engaged. So we're gonna engage one more time. That lights up. Okay, now it's on. And just to show right down here, that light will be lit up to show that we are in four wheel drive. So engaging four wheel drive can be done either in park or in neutral. So again, foot's on the brake, press it, that lights up, and this indicator light will stay on. And then to disengage, same thing, on and off. 
And then to put the vehicle in park, we just press that button on the side. Um, a couple other things is we have the swivel features on these chairs. So in order to do that, there is a lever in the front underneath the chair. Down here, right there. So you're gonna pull that. And then we have to adjust the seat forward while we are turning it to give it space to come through. And then it switches all the way around. And the same thing going back. So we're just gonna pull that lever, swivel it around. In order to do this driver's seat, same concept, you just need to remove this table, which is just on a screw right there. All right, uh, there is def on these newer diesel vehicles, so in order to pop the hood, there's a lever inside, and then there is the lever right here that you're gonna click before opening it. And then we have the drop down arm that will hold it up, and to fill any of your def, um, and any of your windshield wiper fluid would be in here. So we got def right here, and then over here, we have your wiper fluid fill. Thank you for watching our walkthrough of our 2023 Thor Tranquility 19L. We have listed a few apps we like to use with a link down below in our description. If you are renting from us, please feel free to send any questions you have through the Outdoorsy app. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching.